Now, Mr. Clark has asked for a blue card for you, Mr. Ekut. I suppose you accept it? Of course, of course. Mr. Clark, you have the floor. Uh, thank you, President. It's a question for anybody who's taken part in this debate. I want to know, please, how these F gases or even carbon dioxide do cause global warming. I'm not interested in computer predictions. I'm not interested in the 90% of so called scientists who say so. I taught physics and chemistry. I want to know what experiments have been done, what results have been achieved that show that carbon dioxide fluorinated gases and so on, actually do cause global warming. What is the mechanism? What do they actually do? Well, it's very difficult to do a lecture in this now, but if the sun rays are uh, passed through, you get the infrared waves, gases such as CO2. Uh, I am a, a chemical expert myself, so you know that those wavelengths will be maintained. They will be stored, and that means that we'll have 20 degrees uh, more warming, than, more than if there were no uh, greenhouse gases. Obviously, if you have more emissions, you have more uh, green, uh, we'll have more global warming. It's really quite easy. 90% is quite clear that you have, um, you've got man-made, you've got man-made um, emissions as well. You have natural emissions, but you've got na man-made emissions as well. And that ob obviously going to have effect. I mean, it's very difficult to explain this in, in the sec a few seconds remaining to me. Go back to school and take your lessons. Yes, Mr. Clark, you are not satisfied with explanation. <laughs> he hasn't said what actually happens? How does CO2 or a fluorinated gas actually retain heat around the earth? The radiation, I understand, you don't have to tell me, but what do they have, what do they actually do that retains the heat around the world or stops the electromagnetic waves from progressing further? What do they do? How do they do it? So, Mr. Eikut? Yeah, I very perceive. Well, I, I don't know exactly what the question is now. How, you know, if you're talking about greenhouse gases and you're talking about radiation, CO2, look at the link. You, the, the, the infrared uh, rays are retained. It, it's just clear. Look at the whole atmosphere. The whole atmosphere is is dry by, by retaining the energy, the energy by retaining the energy. Well, well, if I've got to start right from the scratch, then really I'll, we'll be here for the rest of the week. If you, if you don't want to understand the basics of chemistry, then of course I'm not going to manage to do any more on this tonight. Let's go to the next point. 